Okay, now we're going to do one more chord, and that is the G chord. Okay, the way I teach G, I call it the modern G. It's the G that we all use that nowadays, um, but I'll show you that now. So it's a nice big G that we use these days. Um, the old school G that we that we used to play was the one where we don't have our all three all four fingers. We've only got three fingers on the guitar. Now that's cool too, but it's got more of a country sound to it, and um, it's not as as uh, versatile as. This G here, which is technically and an got another name for it, but we'll just call it a G. It just works for everything beautifully. So we're starting with our first finger, fifth string. So way up on the fifth string, right up against the fret on the second fret. Then the second finger just goes straight above it, but on the next string, on the third string. Now you'll have a look at look closely there. You'll be able to see that my first and second fingers are very high on the frets. The, so. What ten people tend to do is put their first finger on way down here, and their second finger just can't reach that second fret. So make sure your first finger is nice and high. Then we got a, a very easily we can get into the middle of that second fret with our second finger. There's those fingers. Now the third finger goes on the third fret of the second string, and then the little finger just under, underneath it, tucked in underneath it on the bottom string on the on the first string, but on the third fret as well. So we've got three fingers all on the third fret there. And we strum all the strings, which makes it very, very easy. And that's our G chord. So when playing these chords, it's a good idea to take your fingers off and just keep putting them on. Take them off, and you might take a while with your tongue poking out, having a go at it. You should get through those chords nicely.